All right, we've been talking about composition series. So now let's move on to what some people refer to as composition series when they're referring to what we call a composition series as a filtration or a normal series or a normal tower. A Jordan Holder series is a composition series with some special properties um, in which each inclusion, and I mean the inclusion of the subgroups, is strict um, and any um, finer composition series um, has non-strict inclusions. Let me fix that. And by non-strict inclusions, I mean there's at least one inclusion So, okay, so more precisely, has greater than or equal to one non-strict inclusion. So there is at least one inclusion which is not strict, i.e. it's an equality. Okay, so there's an easier way of saying this. And that is that, um, let's see, our composition series is... Jordan Holder, and I'll write JH from here on out. Um, if and only if each graded piece is simple. All right, so proof. We're kind of going to do this by contrapositive in both directions rather than a direct proof in. Um, both directions. So let um, sigma be a strictly decreasing um, composition series, but not Jordan Holder. So we know series is Jordan Holder if and only if graded piece is simple is what we're trying to prove. So not Jordan Holder, we want, to pro we want to prove that it's not the case that each graded piece is simple. Um, so if it's not Jordan Holder, then um, Sigma has a strictly decreasing refinement, which we will call Sigma Prime. Right, because that's what it means to be Jordan Holder. Means any finer composition series has non-strict inclusions. So if it's not Jordan Holder, then it does have a finer composition series with non-strict inclusions. Or without non-strict, in which all, in which no inclusion is non-strict. So every inclusion is strict. Okay, so anyways. Strictly decreasing sigma prime. So, you're so if let's say um, sigma has subgroups gi, so um, you can imagine what I mean here is that we could write sigma out as being g equals g0 contains g1 contains all the way up through contains gn for some where gn is equal to e and n is some integer, but I'm just going to write this, and I hope that you understand what I mean by this. Um, then, um, there exists some j, and j is just some index, and some h in g, such that g i plus 1 here, let me let me do this uh, in the direction that the um, 
the composition series goes. Because for the composition series, we typically go from larger to smaller. And so our inclusions are um, uh, like G0 will contain G1. And we go that way. So let me be consistent there. So we'll start with GI. GI is going to contain GI plus 1. So what we have is we have GI con um, contains a normal subgroup H, which is not a which is a strict inclusion, and then again we have a strict inclusion to GI plus 1. Okay, then H mod GI plus 1, recall this, this is well defined because GI plus 1 is normal in H. So this, or rather, let's, let's do it this way. So H mod GI contains as a normal as a strict normal subgroup um, g i plus one mod g i and this is no I have that backwards I have everything I have most things wrong here so this should be g i plus one and this should be g i mod g i plus one okay so we're, um, certainly the fact that um, G i plus 1 is normal in H. Wait a minute. No, we know that G i plus 1 is normal in G i because those were two subsequent um, subgroups in sigma. And so that's why we know that. Um, but we know that we can stick this H in between there because it's part of our um, refinement. So anyways, if we form this quotient, then it can't be the same as this quotient. Because if it were, then one of these two inclusions here would not be strict. Um, okay. So what does that mean? So then GI mod GI plus 1. Do I have this backwards? Yes, I do. Ugh. When I said everything was wrong, I really meant everything was wrong. So GI mod GI plus 1 contains a normal non-trivial subgroup. Um, and of course, right, right, so um, so this is not equal because the fact that this is not equal means that this is not the identity, and the fact that this is not equal means that these are not equal. And so therefore this is a non-trivial normal subgroup. And so, um, GI mod GI plus 1 is not simple. So if sigma is um, strictly decreasing and not, so if, if sigma is not Jordan Holder, then it is not the case that every graded piece is simple. We found a graded piece here which is not simple. Okay? For the other direction, and this we're going to do by contrapositive as well. Um, suppose sigma, we go from, we'll actually write this one out, gn, which is e, um, is such that each inclusion is strict. So I'll just write this to make that easier, um, but there is some i, there is some non-simple graded piece. There exists i such that, um, well obviously i is, well here let me write this out, um, gi mod gi plus 1 is not simple. Okay, so um, I is obviously, let's see, if we can go up to GI plus 1 here, I is going to be between 0 and N minus 1. Okay? Um, recall um, we have a 1 to 1 correspondence, H, um, a subgroup of G mod N, and, well, actually, this is going to be H, a normal subgroup of G mod N, and let's see, I think this is a common. Um, notation for 
uh, we have a biject a one to one correspondence between and I think I wrote this backwards um, I think it might be this and this I'm not sure um, what what I mean to be saying here is that there is a bijective cor a one to one correspondence between this set and the set that I'm going to write next and I'm going to write um, so this is going to be h normal subgroups of g such that n is contained well obviously n is going to be normal in h but then this is normal in g n is normal in h because n is normal in g um, okay that's just uh, i think that's the first isomorphism theorem um, but anyways then there exists an H. It's going to be a subgroup, a normal subgroup of G. No, 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 no. Normal subgroup of GI, such that GI plus 1 is normal in H, is normal in GI. You know what? I, I want to stay consistent throughout this because the more consistent you are, the fewer places you have to get confused. Okay, so we got that. So let's sigma prime be g equals g naught, which contains, then we keep going, and then we have g i, but then this contains the normal subgroup h, then we go to g i plus 1, then we keep going all the way down to g n, which is e. Really ran out of room there. Um, is a okay so I'm going to say is a strictly um, decreasing refinement of sigma and thus sigma is not Jordan Holder and so we have not the case that each graded piece of simple implies that it's not the case that the Jordan Holder series is normal. But I did I do want to change something here. Okay, so we do have this correspondence here, but we know that um, there exists an H, which is a non-trivial normal subgroup of GI, and we know that because so here we want to use that GI. Um, Right, because gi mod gi plus 1, um, let me rewrite this. There, there is a normal subgroup h, i, and g, i, such that um, H mod N, no, H mod G I plus 1 is normal in but does not contain H mod G I. Nope, this is backwards. Is it backwards? No, it's not. It's H mod G I is normal, G I plus 1 is normal in but does not contain, how, how is this working? What's playing the role of n here? n, okay, gi mod gi plus 1. So n is being played by i plus 1. Okay, so g and gi is playing the role of g. Okay, so we know that, so basically what, um, I, I guess I could, I could have written this better here, um, but I, I think I didn't really flesh this out in my notes as much as I should have. But what's really going on here is because gi mod gi plus 1 is not simple, we have a non-trivial normal subgroup here. And by non-trivial, I mean it's not the identity, and it's not all of gi mod gi plus 1. So that's a little more of a stricter statement than just saying that this is not equal. Um, what I really mean is that this is not a non-trivial normal subgroup, just like I was saying back here. Um, but the, not only do we have a non-trivial normal subgroup, 
but by this one-to-one -one correspondence, this thing corresponds to some subgroup H and GI, i.e. this, this uh, non-trivial normal subgroup is obtained by taking a subgroup of GI and modding out by GI plus one. Um, so we need to obtain this G, this H, but then this H I claim is not, is a non-trivial normal subgroup in GI. And we need that because we need these two inclusions to not be equal. Okay, and why is that the case? That should just be because, um, Right, because of this correspondence, um, the fact that this is not, so the fact that this is non-trivial implies that this is non-trivial. Because, um, see here, if, 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 one of, if, if this one was trivial, then we would have h is just equal to n, which is just the identity element here. If this one is not equal, then we have h is just g mod n, which again is not is a non-trivial normal subgroup. Okay, so you use so we're really using the fact that gi mod gi plus one is simple to get this h here. Okay, and so there we go. That um, that clears up all the issues here, and then all of these other containments are also strict because we assume that we assume that this is um, such that. These are all non-strict, so let's actually write that in here. Right, and then this is a strictly decreasing refinement of sigma. All right, so there we go. Um, so we've introduced the notion of a Jordan-Holder series, and we've shown an equivalent condition. And let's see, I, I, I think... I think that working with um, the graded pieces being simple is a little more natural and it, it tends to be a little more useful, I think. Um, but anyways, we're going to be, we're, we're definitely going to be using that one. We're probably going to be using both of these throughout a lot of the following results. But yeah, this completes this, the proof of this result.